I'm back with the plums again. <laughs> Just finished making plum chutney and uh, somebody commented on the chutney video uh, mentioning pickled plums, which I had never heard tell of before. Sounded good, so I've been online to which one of these is it? Food.com, I guess, and got a recipe for pickled plums and going to give it a try. It needs three pounds of plums, and I have weighed out three pounds of my plums. And you pierce each plum with a fork. Um, I pierced twice, one on each side of the plum. It just said to pierce. It didn't say how much, how many times to pierce. Uh, this is two cups of cider vinegar, and I've just turned the heat on under it. And this is a mixture of all of the uh, spices and, and uh, the salt. Let me see what I've got in here. A tablespoon of ginger, a teaspoon of cloves, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of allspice, and a half tablespoon of salt. And I used that uh, flax salt, the uh, sea salt again. So that all goes in, and that's my my oven beeping. I have my jars in the oven sterilizing. It just reached 350 degrees. And a cup and a half of sugar. almost said salt. That would be quite a brine, wouldn't it? Then it says three, three hot chilies. Well, Another one of those ridiculous things that you find in recipes. Three hot chilies doesn't mean anything. It could be three jalapenos and it wouldn't be hardly any heat at all. Three cayenne peppers and it'd be a little bit more heat. Three ghost peppers and you wouldn't be able to eat it, so I don't know. I've gone with about five of the uh, Thai chilies that I like so well. and That'll probably be a little spicy for some people, but I'll enjoy it. Oh, heavens, knock you on the floor. I'll enjoy that. <laughs> I've been careful not to touch these things with my fingers. And here I go. I've now got a finger into the hot chilies. Anyway, you bring this to a boil. And then you add the plums. So I'll bring you back at that point. Well, it has come to a boil, and it said to wait until the sugar had melted. Well, the sugar has all melted. Now you add the plums, I'm trying to add them as quickly as possible because they're only supposed to be in there for three or four minutes. So. It's a very simple, straightforward sort of a recipe. The hard part comes after you've finished. It says to wait two months before you open a jar and start to use them. Well, I'll bring you back after the plums have come back to a boil and been in there for three or four minutes. The plums have been in for their three or four minutes. It didn't say anything about them splitting, but mine split, so I hope that's normal. They didn't all split, but quite a few of them, the, the skins split. And now you put them in jars. Hot sterilized jars, which these are, I just came out of the oven. I'll bring you back once I have my jars full here. Well, I have brought the syrup or whatever back to a boil, and it says to boil it until it starts to thicken. Well, I don't know quite what they mean by thickens. There's no thickener, thickener in there, but I'm going to call that thick enough, I guess. I suspect I'm going to have to make another batch of it anyway. Uh, I got five pint jars of the plums and I don't believe there's enough of this syrup here to, to cover them all. So I'm going to see how far I get. And if I have to make an extra batch, I'll make an extra batch. And this stuff is hot. I mean spicy hot. <laughs> I 
lick some off my fingers. The chilies that I used were very hot. But I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. It's pretty in the jars anyway. I have one that I didn't have enough syrup to fill it, so that will go in the refrigerator immediately. And I've got at least one of the jars that didn't seal. At least it hasn't so far. If it doesn't seal, I'll put it in a hot water bath for 10 minutes after, after the hot water comes back up the boil. And that will cause it to seal, I'm sure. It's a high acid product, but still you want the lids to seal. So. Now to wait for two months and see what these taste like. Thank you for watching.